Hello, everyone. I'm Riley Dickens, a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of an organization's security concerns, such as data security, key management, and data privacy. Today, we'll be going over the concept of the Hardware Security Module, or HSM. We will start with the introduction and then dive into a more detailed breakdown of this technology along with its use cases. An HSM is nothing but a piece of hardware that solves a very critical issue, that is to store and manage the digital keys. Let's understand this within the context of actual physical keys. Let's imagine a hotel having different keys for different rooms. Now the front desk would keep all the keys and safeguard them in a shelf and then lock that shelf for extra protection. HSMs do the same for digital keys. An HSM generates and keeps the sensitive keys, organizes them, and gives various mechanisms to secure them. The hardware of the HSM comes in various forms. Most commonly, it comes as an external plug-in device, be it embedded PCI Express cards, standalone Ethernet connected devices, or USB connected devices. One thing is always common between HSM models. That is, they're made up of secure crypto processor chips, and they all act the same way. Crypto processor chips help the HSM carry out encryption and decryption operations. HSMs also use a technique called bus probing that allows them to reduce the number of tampering attempts and log all tampering attempts. It's always possible to compromise a software-only cryptography system by just using a computer device, even at a remote location. HSMs, being a physical device, enable perimeter defense to a certain degree. We can classify HSM into two categories, general purpose HSMs and payment HSMs. While both of these are hardware security modules, the use cases are different. Any use case that doesn't involve financial transactions and requires standard encryption algorithms such as symmetric, asymmetric, and hash functions is carried out by a general purpose HSM. Keep in mind that these HSMs also provide API interconnectivity supported primarily by using Public Key Cryptography Standard 11, or PKCS 11. Additionally, it supports API connectivity through JCE, CAPI, CNG, and more. This allows software developers to create applications using languages such as Java and c -sharp and interact with the HSMs using application programming interfaces. Examples of general purpose HSMs include the Enshield Connect, Sales Luna, and FutureX. Payment HSMs, on the other hand, add an extra layer of security tailor-made for the type of financial transaction occurring. We can see such examples on ATMs, payment cards, and more. Here, the API allows the use of pins, EMV chips, and magnetic strips with encrypted details. Examples of payment HSMs include the PayShield 10K and Atala. There's no doubt HSMs are great tools that solve critical security. There's no doubt that HSMs are great tools that solve critical security concerns, which is why many regulatory bots there's no doubt HSMs are great tools for solving critical security concerns, which is why many regulatory bodies, such as PCI DSS, have made it mandatory to follow strict HSM guidelines. It's important to check the certification of HSMs before making any purchases. Most HSMs meet FIPS 140-2 Level 3 validation criteria. HSMs store all the private or secret keys locally and not in any server. Additionally, these keys are always generated using onboard hardware random number generation. Other than the mentioned features, there are many other niche features of HSM, such as bus probing, that provide tamper resistance and protection from both logical and physical attacks. There are several benefits of using an HSM as part of your firm's cybersecurity infrastructure. Out of all these benefits, let's discuss the key benefits which include physical access protection, secure generation of keys, regulatory compliance, and secure key management. 
Physical access protection refers to HSMs having an array of security measures which protect the module from any physical tampering using protective measures such as drill protection foils, voltage, and temperature sensors. This provides maximum physical security. Another important benefit is secure key generation. HSMs use unconventional processes such as atomic decay or atmospheric noise for generating random keys. The most important benefit of using an HSM is that key management operations, such as key generation, storage, and usage, can be executed within the secure environment of the HSM. In this way, it is virtually impossible for a hacker to steal keys through logical attacks. HSMs have a wide range of applications and use cases across industries for securing data in transit and at rest by enabling high levels of security for cryptographic keys and functions. Cryptographic functions using HSM include key injection, random number generation, time stamping, and database encryption. Let me elaborate on some of the applications using HSMs for secure cryptographic keys and certificates. The first application is blockchain technology. It is highly critical to secure and protect data within a blockchain. Sophisticated blockchain applications use HSMs to protect their root cryptographic algorithms and keys. HSMs also provide a secure environment by protecting the historical record of the blockchain, which is key for ensuring the trust of the transaction. Code signing is yet another critical cryptographic process which uses keys and certificates for providing authentication to software products and code. Private key certificates used in the code signing process for protecting the code or software is secured through HSMs. This ensures integrity and prevents tampering. HSMs with RSA and ECDSA signing algorithm capabilities are leveraged for ensuring key or certificate security. You can also find HSMs used in emerging technologies such as Internet of Things or IoT, which interconnects a wide array of devices. These devices need to be protected and secured as they receive commands for performing actions via the internet, which is highly vulnerable. HSMs are leveraged to create a supply of certificates or keys in IoT devices, and periodical replacement is performed to enhance the security. Trending IoT applications such as connected consumer vehicles, smart home appliances, and gaming consoles, utilize HSMs in creating strong credentials. The next generation of HSMs has cut the tangible part out and moved to the cloud, though traditional HSMs are still available with even more customizable software solutions. Some HSMs are capable of loading and running full operating systems and commercially off-the-shelf software, without requiring any customization or reprogramming. Cloud-based HSMs open the door for various pay-per-use features that provide more flexibility for businesses. It also significantly cuts costs. Overall, HSMs, either the traditional or next-gen ones, are becoming more and more in demand because of the growing cyber threats, regulations, and cyber awareness. That's the end of our video on HSM basics. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And to learn more terminology about data security terms, visit our website, encryptionconsulting.com for more information. Thank you.